In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see what is watch mode and how to use watch mode in Playwright. So let's understand what is watch mode first. So watch mode is nothing but, so whenever I am making some changes in the Playwright test, right? So after making the changes, automatically that test execution will be triggered after making the changes. And once you save the file, automatic test ex execution will be triggered if you switch on the watch mode to the any spec file or any test. So let's see how to use the watch mode now. So I will go to the VS code and here I will navigate to the terminal. So let's open the playwright test runner first. So here I'll write npx followed by playwright test and followed by hyphen hyphen ui. This command will open the playwright test runner. If you see guys, so it has opened the playwright test runner. So it lists down all the spec file and all the all your automation tests. So here I'm selecting one of the spec file called assertions.spec.js. So if I select this particular test, right? So if I come right side, so there are three icons. And if you see here guys, so there is a one icon called watch. So before we switch on this watch mode, so let's run the test and we'll see whether this test is working fine or not. Then later we will switch on the watch mode and we'll make the changes to the, this particular test. And we will see whether it is playwright is automatically triggering the test or not. So if you see here guys, so our test is perfectly working fine. And also here you can see the check mark and here you can see that so our test is passing one of one. So here I will simply click on the eye icon that is the watch mode. So if I click on that one, so it is turned on now. So if you see the other playwright test, so these are the automation tests. So it is not enabled with the watch mode. So only this particular test is switched on with the watch mode. So I will go to this particular spec file and I will make the changes automatically this test will be triggered for the execution. So I will go to the VS code and this is the spec file what we are referring it. So here I'm writing very simple statement here. So console.log. So simply I will write some statement inside the log method. So I will say assertions in playwright test is running. That's it guys. So I have saved it and if I come back here, so if you see here guys, so it has started the execution because I did not actually click on the run for this particular test. So automatically test execution is started. So this is the beauty of the watch mode guys. So I will go back to the VS code once again. So I will make small change here and if you see here guys, I have not saved this particular file, right? If you see here, so this file is not saved yet and I will go to the playwright test runner. So this execution is not started now. So let me save it and we'll come back and we'll see the execution once again. I have saved the file and if you see here guys, so it is already queued for the execution and also execution is started. And if you see here on the right side window guys, so our test is getting executed. And also here you can see, so our test is getting passed. So this is how you can use the watch mode in Playwright.